All right, for more on the political ramifications of all of this, Robin Byro and Jesse Jane Jeff do, uh, join us now. Robin is a former Obama regional campaign uh, director, and Jesse is a senior fellow at the London Center for Policy and Research and a former retired Marine Corps gunnery sergeant. Got your introductions out of the way. Happy Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. So as we talk about, Robin, the political ramifications of all this, if you look at Trump country and his base, they might say we believe in the awesome negotiating power of the president. But many Republicans up for re-election don't have that time because the midterms are in November. How does this play out, Robin? You know, I'm concerned about how this plays out, and I think Republicans have a right to be concerned about how this plays out. Uh, specifically, look at look at who this affects. The farmers, by and large, were Trump supporters, uh, and this is going to affect them adversely. So I think the Republicans really should be concerned about how this is going to affect his base. Uh, and, you know, I, I've got it in full transparency. I have to say that I supported initially the, the tariffs, the tough talk on the tariffs, but I think now we're getting close to some dangerous territory because of what it's doing to the markets, what it's doing to American farmers. Uh, and I think I might have been wrong, and I think it takes a tough man to admit when he's wrong. And I think the president may be almost at that point and might need to humble himself and walk some of this back, Lauren. I'm going to one-up you, Robin. Let's take a look at some numbers that come from the Brookings Institution. They say and they find that this trade war with China could disproportionately affect Working class jobs, these are the jobs that the president tried to save when he was campaigning. Of the 2,700 counties that, that are affected here, look at that. Most of them went for Trump. This is 1.1 million jobs at stake, Jesse. How do you make sure that in your potential trade war, your negotiations with China, the American paycheck, your base is not at stake? Well, first of all, there is no trade war. Right now, the president is talking about negotiating with China. He has stated that we are going after $100 billion in trade. We have a $500 billion trade deficit. We have lost extensive manufacturing jobs. We have also lost a lot of our power over our own technology that China has actually practices, has practiced illegal trading where they have required technology to be transferred over and licensed in China for the U.S. to even do business with it. This is against our own trade policies. So why is if impacting and enforcing the very laws that they have agreed to a bad thing? When we get trade back into the United States hands and to the advantage of the American people, we will see prosperity again. Instead, we have essentially exported all of our technology. We know that China has broken their laws on technology. And now the president is saying enough is enough. The Obama administration yeah. was very well aware of this and did nothing. So President Jesse. Trump is saying we will. You're, you're right, because a lot of these rules yeah. that were implemented to help China were way back when, when they weren't the major economy that they are right now. But, but Robin, how do you, how do you, how can we be sure that we're going to win this fight is my question. I know it's, it's still a negotiation. The president is good at negotiation, but they are fighting back in China. I mean, they have a very, it's a holiday in China. At 8 o'clock yes. our time, they have an emergency briefing to discuss their retaliation. Right. And that's a really tough question because what Je everything that Jesse just said was very true. China has engaged in, in intellectual property theft in order. They have made us give over our intellectual property just to do business there. It is grossly unfair. Uh, but now they're they're coming after our farmers. Uh, so, you know, when it when it comes to technology, they were stealing our technology and now they're they're going uh, they're giving these tariffs about our farmers. And that's where I'm concerned, though, that when I when I issued my statement, that's where I think Trump voters, Trump, uh, the administration should be concerned because that's actually his base. China was smart to go after that. That should be concerning to the Republican Party. And I don't think there's an easy answer here. Uh, but I really hope that we can just play through these the negotiations. Yeah. I understand the threats. Uh, I just am getting concerned about the markets and how close we are the to a trade war. We are not in a trade war but I'm concerned about where we're headed. The answer is the art of negotiation as we wrap this up, Jesse. What is the strategy then for Republicans going forward? Because it was, we grew the economy, and they did. Deregulation, tax mm -hmm. cuts, up until recently, the am amazing gains for Americans' 401ks. But if this trade war negotiation doesn't pan out, 
as the White House and the Trump administration hopes it does, what's the strategy for Republicans? Well, essentially, the White House is also targeting products and services within China that we already have ample services from other countries or we are capable of sustaining in our own country. We're not going after uh, products that essentially were that are going to devastate our own economy. The president is going to negotiate. So we import $530 billion of their products. We only, ex I'm sorry, $506 billion. Right. We export $130 billion. The, adva the advantage is to the Americans on this. Yeah, we, we used those numbers earlier. Jesse, Robin, thank you guys. Have a great weekend. I hope to see you Have soon. Have a great day.